the I hate a privileged rapper that they had a hit since his son. Niggas be full of excuses, that lady taking their time. Wow. Good morning, everybody. It is Grandma Lady Jordan, the bougie bookkeeper, and we are off again to our usual adventure. So today I am on my way. It is like 7:15 in the morning. I was supposed to be literally left at 7, but I locked myself out of my apartment. Luckily, I was able to get back in. Um, but so that's how my day is starting. But um, I'm actually on my way to a small business academy hosted by our local um, government. It's actually a state over and their government, the governor is hosting the small business academy that is to help small business to, you know, startups that have been in business for like two, three years, you know, give them some advice. It's going to have workshops today. It's from 8 a.m. to uh, 12 p.m. So it's about four hours long. Um, we have a networking section, then I have a panel of uh, business owners, and then they're going to finish off with having um, just like three or three workshops that we can go to. So I'm really excited. And then later on today, we're going to get a little bit into my personal because um, today we have a performance. My dance team that I coach through the, the local Boys and Girls Club, we have a performance um, for the Delta Step show. So I'm going to take you guys along with that as well. So let's get ready and let's get into today. All right, you guys, we have reached our destination. That was a 52 minute drive to get here, but we are here. So all I'm going to do now is just um, probably do my, my little like, lip combo, brush my hair, and then we're going to go ahead and head in. It started at 8 o'clock. It is 8.05 now. Um, the first hour is networking and just, you know, things like that. So you ain't got to be in registering, so we ain't got to be right on time. But um, I'm not, I have been to this uh, library once. I'm not familiar with it. So I got to go figure out where this at. So let's get ready and go and hit in. Do try to come back when you're famous. I always want to prove what it's dangerous. You got something real, not basic. You want to get with me, stop. <laughs> um, and I was a retail sales and marketing manager for about 14 years. So what that meant is I worked with probably 120 branch managers across the Midwest, helping them with trying to increase their sales through sales recruiting. I probably trained over 600 salespeople in my career. guys so i just finished up the work well I, the academy it was really 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 good i'm gonna start out with a little bit of networking i met a nice young lady who i was sitting next to she was awesome so i networked with her and i networked with a few other people and what i really enjoyed though is because um somebody that i had met um she actually heard about my business heard about my brand said so she's seen me um on some things and it's crazy because I'm, I'm a state away from where i live so it felt good to hear that my brand is even reaching up here and i have done some work up here so it's good to still hear that people are hearing about my brand even outside of me marketing to them so i'm glad about that um right now i'm at the gas station getting some gas and we're gonna get ready to head back home so i can get ready to uh 
Cause I got a little bit of time in between so I can eat some food because they had like really light of all d'oeuvres and I need some food. So I'm going to eat, chill out for a little bit and then get ready to go pick my boyfriend from work. Then get ready to head to the boys and girls club and get these girls ready. But um, we did like two different sessions. We did um, my first session, we'll get to know your customer, which was amazing. Um, so I know my customer my value proposition, but this guy's really a salesman and he really was giving free game on sales. Um, and he was like giving me a lot of free game. And the second one was um, why you need a mentor or how to get a mentor. The men kind of really talked about everything but a mentor, but it was still some good information kind of threaded in between there. A lot of information kind of already knew, but there was some good advice still to be gained from it. And then we just finished it up while I just with closing remarks. So it was about a four hour long uh, academy, but it was really good and it was really worth it. So yeah, we're gonna get head back home and get the rest of this day going. <laughs> Next formation. Y'all gotta be paying attention. That is it. That is it. This is long. I'm going to be wrong. See y'all next video. Hey. <laughs>